We're here at TJ Corral's trailhead. We're doing a 11 mile loop. We're gonna start uh, by going down Woody's Corral all the way down to Little Creek. We're gonna camp down there the first night, follow Little Creek the second day, then make our way up EE, and then camp towards the end of that before it gets out of the canyon. And that'll just leave uh, a couple miles for the last day. But the issue we're having right now is that the West Fork River is really high and we won't know that until our third morning, whether it's gonna be crossable or not. It could change our plans. We might have to backtrack. We just don't know. Um, but hopefully over the next two days, the, the river is gonna lower a little bit. Am I excited to swim across the river? Yeah. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, I'm excited to see the terrain though. Yeah. It'd be cool. Are you excited to see some Gila monsters? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna be uh, friends with one, put him on a leash so he scares away the mountain lions. <laughs> Give me my little pet for the for the trip. Sure. <laughs> Straight off the trailhead, um, basically just going up for the next three and a half miles here on Woody's Corral. And um, it's about a thousand feet in elevation. And that's gonna be about close to where we're gonna camp the first day here. We're gonna do about four miles. It's gonna be a day of basically just hiking up. So not too bad. Just a gradual incline, but it's really scenic out here. Enjoying the the change in scenery.
came across a grassland pasture here and it looks like this area suffered some fire but this is a really scenic area wouldn't wasn't expecting this after seeing low level mountains or hills and then you just this just pops up out of nowhere it's really beautiful is that slenderman <laughs> not again he's following us We've been hiking through quite a bit of mud and puddles today. This area has gotten quite a bit of rain um, this season and actually the week before we got here it rained pretty much every day. We just actually just stopped and talked with another hiker briefly and she was here this last weekend when it was raining a lot and was telling us how there were some boy scouts out here that kind of got caught up in the rain and they actually had to have a, a Black Hawk helicopter come out and rescue them. So I'm sure that was quite a sight. She said she uh, was able to see that happen and said it was pretty crazy, but she was super nice and kind of gave us some tips of what to expect here for the rest of the day. Feels good to sit down. Yeah. In the shade. In the shade. With a view. With a view. What is that black thing up there? Yeah. Like? It kind of looks like a bear, right? Doesn't it? Is it just a burnt it's just log? Burnt, yeah. Oh gosh, that's good. <laughs> He's really still. <laughs> I know, right? Because he hasn't moved since we no. came over the hill there. I have a Z bar. A Z bar? It's a cliff kid. <laughs> Bar. Is this Knox's? This is Knox's. Or is this Nash's? <laughs> this is Knox's food. Yeah. Mogolin or Mogolin? I don't know. Or is it Mog Mogolin? Mo yeah. Mogolon? I mean, <laughs> we should have Wikipedia'd that first. Siri, how do you say Mogolin? Pronounce Mogolon. Mogolon. <laughs> a Muppet now. <laughs> well, since she's not showing up right now, since we don't have service, she can be a Muppet. Oh. Kind of surprised we haven't seen more <clears throat> wildlife. Yeah, right. Except for the tarantula. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? You almost killed it. I almost stepped on it. <laughs> you did. And that was like, that was like a, that was like a hundred feet off the. Off yeah, the trailhead, yeah, everything just, else has been right. grasshoppers and yeah, butterflies. Butterflies, yep. Keep seeing a bear over there. So I wonder what it's going to do here. <clears throat> it's going to have us loop all the way around. Yeah, probably. And then I don't know if we're going up. We got to be going up higher because we're not up there yet. But I could see how our campsite would have trees because you know we're kind of hitting some of that now. Yeah, or we will be here. The next probably half mile or something. 
we reached the highest point for our um, trip for today, which was about 6,600 feet elevation. Yeah. That was about a little over three miles, 3.2 miles to get to that point. So we're only half mile? About a mile. Point a mile? Eight. Yeah, okay. down to Little Creek. Down to Little Creek, which is where we're going to camp for the first night. But it feels good to get that out of the way. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't like super hard. It's just, it's, it's yeah. a lot warmer out here and there's like no shade really. Yeah, I mean, it was totally worth it. And, you know, at least it's good to know the next mile will be a lot easier. I'm ready to get down there. Yep. Just set up camp and just chill for a little bit. For sure. Yes. Thank you, Beaver King. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's see if it's cold. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> My tent here. Sleeping pads and sleeping bags. All set up. Jake's tent. Get in here. Should we saw some of this? Yeah, I should probably start working on the wood, I guess. Chop, 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 chop.
Thanks for the beer. Yeah. Carried it all the way down here, didn't you? What is that? Up here. 14 ounces or something? Yeah, 13, 14 each. So 28 ounces. What's well, it's easy. Too. I, I'm not good at maths. Yeah. The, the maths. <laughs> Plural. But you're going to feel light on your feet tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll, carry, I'll carry the cans out, the empty cans. Okay. Sounds good. It's a deal. So if we can't cross the West Fork yeah. Friday morning and we're coming back, what kind of elevation are we looking at? Well, How many miles of ele high elevation? Yeah. I mean, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be going downhill most of the time. So coming back out, I think it'll be kind of rough because you're <clears throat> coming back up in a shorter distance than what we went up to, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be harder. Gotcha. Sure. Could we just get the Black Hawk to come get us? <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know how much that costs though. <laughs> Probably more than an ambulance, right? More than, yeah, it's more than an ambulance. <laughs> but I don't think an ambulance can make it down here. <laughs> we just need to call up some horseback riders. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Have them throw us on the back. Yeah. I didn't look at any photos, really. I didn't know really yeah, what to expect. But there, so. there wasn't a whole lot of photos of this trail, so didn't really know what to expect. So it was kind of a nice surprise to see, you know, what we saw today. Yeah. Yeah, it was, we, we had some good views all day long. Do you know what you're gonna eat though? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm eating either. Maybe I should close my eyes and reach in reach there. Reach in there? Are you, are you gonna grab an ice cream sandwich though? <laughs> I have brought no ice cream sandwiches. I have the same ice cream sandwich from our very first trip. <laughs> <laughs> Which was over a year ago. Right. I just, you know. He's a friend. He is a friend now. He's, he's been on so many journeys. Yeah, he's part of the family. <laughs> right? He's, he's basically a warm brother. It would just kind of feel wrong to eat him now. I mean, he's been like all over the country, uh -huh. thousands of miles. Yeah. He's traveled with us. Yeah. And he kind of gives like on a hard hike, he gives me inspiration that, you know, at the end of the day, I can re reward myself with a nice treat at mm -hmm. the end. But then I'm like, I look at him, I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. Oh. Hey, smoke. Here comes the smoke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you might have to relocate. To another, another forest? <laughs> I'll let you pick my dinner tonight between two choices. Beef stroganoff. Uh, that sounds good. Or chicken teriyaki rice. Mm. Do the beef stroganoff. Do that tonight? Mm -hmm. okay. This is the first time I tried the peak refuel one, so. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, who's peak. talking right now? <laughs> Power's doing pretty good. Yeah, I just don't feel it. How was your dinner? Good. Is that spaghetti? Mm -hmm. Did you have meatballs? Uh, I think they're all grounded up in there. Ugh. Did you have breadsticks? <laughs> There's no breadsticks. No I can't breadsticks. A garlic uh, stick or a cheese stick. Crazy bread. Crazy bread. I need a candy bar or a piece of chocolate. To... Yeah, I don't really have any sweets. A dinner mint. Maybe yeah. there'll be a, 
a mint on my pillow in my tent. <laughs> Housekeeping? I, I'd be worried about that. <laughs> Somebody showing up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Kurt, if you're listening, I do not want a mint. Would you? Mm -hmm. Sleep in the cliff dwellings. You can choose any one of the like 12 bedrooms little, right, <laughs> bedrooms if that's what you want to call them <laughs> yeah you can choose any one you want right but you have to sleep in your normal clothes you can't have obviously a tent no sleeping bag and you can't keep a headlamp on you can have one if you need to get out there <laughs> <laughs> to get out there I'm, go I'm going out there in the middle of the night <laughs> I'd rather go out there like before okay. dusk. So you're just hanging out during the day. And yeah, no, like, yeah. Okay. I need to like figure out, <laughs> feel my way around and <laughs> know if I'm going to bump into anything. <laughs> All right. All right. So you, you get out there during the day, uh -huh. but with nothing but normal clothes and just normal clothes. Mm -hmm. Like a puffy? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Just Whatever's on my back. Way. Yeah. Can I wear like a onesie? <laughs> an insulated onesie uh-huh and would you do and, it uh -huh. for ten thousand dollars ten thousand and i have to stay out all night uh -huh. until so, daylight mm -hmm. do, can, I, do, can i bring a friend no you just move on by yourself oh, it's just by myself you can go you can Bring a friend, I guess, but you have to split the money. Oh, well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> can I, for 10,000? Mm -hmm. uh, can I start a fire? No. What if, what if I... You have any light? No, what, I, I'm not bringing anything. I'm using a, a couple of rocks nope. and some sticks. You have to sleep on... What, are you going to be watching me? <laughs> <laughs> you have to sleep on the floors that they had back 700 years ago. Even 700 years ago, they had fire back then. Well, they weren't in the would you game. Oh, all right. For 10,000? Those floors are. Yeah, well. Uh, some of them are kind of muddy and yeah. dank. And... Like, is it this time of year where it gets down into the like low 40s, upper 30s? Let's just say it's room temperature. Room temperature? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. For 10,000? Well, I can see. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You do that? Yeah. For 10,000. Yeah. If it was like. It's it was mid sixties for a low, but it's pitch dark in there. That doesn't bother you. You just no. fall asleep. I would just get in that one room that doesn't have doors <laughs> and cradle yourself in the corner. Yeah, and nothing shake. Could, yeah, nothing could get, <laughs> nothing could get, get in there and no, attack that's, me. That's no, true. All right. yeah. Would you do it for a thousand dollars? A thousand, and it's like, let's bump it up to like sixty-eight degrees, <laughs> seventy-two sure. for a low. Sure. Room temperature again. A thousand? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would probably do it for a thousand. Mm -hmm. If it, as, as long as I'm not cold, I don't care. But there are, what about those wasps? <laughs> I don't know what wasps are, do at night. Do, do they sleep? Probably. Okay. They'll probably yeah. sleep next to you. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then, no, not for a thousand. <laughs> for 10,000, I would. Uh. Yeah, those wasps were they, they were just dropping out of the sky like yeah they were like mud mud, mud dauber yeah. yeah all right hmm. yeah i would do it for 10 not for one would you rather this is a would you rather a would you rather oh would you rather you have two choices first choice remember that tarantula we saw this morning <laughs> okay mm -hmm. First choice is to have the tarantula walk up your arm. I'll take the second choice. <laughs> you don't know what it is though yet. <laughs> I don't like that first choice, so. Okay. What, the first choice is tarantula walking up your arm for a good 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. He doesn't bite you. Oh, okay. We think. We think. We don't know yet, because it hasn't happened. But. Okay. And then your second choice Tonight, would you sleep in your tent? You could be in your tent, mm -hmm. but you I'm going to take away your sleeping pad and your sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. And you didn't bring your puffy, but you can have your thermals. Mm -hmm. That's option two. Tarantula, 
Or no sleeping bag, basically, sleeping pad. Oh, I can have my thermals though and just sleep you, on them. Yeah, and you could be in your tent. And that's, but there's no tarantula involved in a second scenario. It's not sleeping in there with me, right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh man, 10 seconds of tarantula you know, on the armor, yeah. sleeping for several hours in the thermals. Yeah, I get, it, you know, remember it got down to 37 last night. That's chilly. And you get cold anyway. Just 10 seconds. Didn't look like he wanted to bite us. Right. Man, that one's a tough one. Yeah. Well, if he is not going to bite me, then I'd take the spider, I guess, the tarantula. But... Yeah. I mean, there's like a 95% chance he won't. 5% <laughs> chance he will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go, with, I'll go with the tarantula. Yeah. Because, yeah, sleeping in the cold miserable yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to sleep it would just be like shivering the whole night well we should probably hang up our food uh yeah that's not gonna be fun mm -mm. get it done knock it out yeah all right good mm -hmm. day yeah it was a good day Got chilly last night. <laughs> Felt like Han Solo in Return of the Jedi. Carbonite? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't unbearable. It's not like I couldn't fall asleep, but right. I could definitely, certain times in the night, feel that my legs were chilly and then my feet start getting cold a little bit there. Yeah. Temperature thing says it got down to 33, which like the coldest we've ever been in is like 50 maybe. Yeah. Right, 50, yeah. 50 to 55. Yeah. Uh, it's a good test of the equipment. What, yeah. yeah, what we need to bring. And I just don't know if, like, when getting up, like, I was, I felt like I was fine, but then I had, I had to go to the bathroom, and it's like once I get up and I unzip, get out. and then I even open up uh -huh. the tent. Yeah. It's like starting all over again. Right but in much lower temperature and then yeah. it takes that much more to heat up right you know all those things in your body and everything yeah if i didn't have to go to the bathroom i probably would have been fine yeah <clears throat> makes sense i was i'm just gonna bring a space heater space heater <laughs> <laughs> yeah plug it into your power bank uh-huh it'll last about two seconds <laughs> <laughs> and it shorts out and my whole tent flies up in fire <laughs> I'm gonna buy a hundred packs of hand warmers. <laughs> just put them <laughs> just, all over. It. Just line them. Yeah. Put some double-sided tape. Just stick it to the top. It's already it's already warm enough out here, though. Yeah, it's fine now. So we need to find out where this trail is officially. Yeah. I mean, it's already what 8:30 right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's almost nine. I don't really need this either. Yeah. I'm not hungry at all, dude. So you do whatever you want. If anything, I'll just eat a... I might have some jerky or... Yeah. I still have this anxious feeling going on right now. It's just... I think it's kind of curbing my appetite. <clears throat> just about. 
of finding the trail today and then the river at the end <coughs> crossing out. Did you walk down just to this mm -hmm. to see it? Still going like it was yesterday. Well, if we're going to be in, you know, kind of a shaded, more tree line area mm -hmm. today, it might be a little bit cooler at least. Mm -hmm. The sun won't be beating down on us. So you'll be wearing the thermals all day. <laughs> I don't want to take them off. That's why I'm saying this. I'm trying to justify. Yeah. Oh, why don't I leave them on? No, I would heat. I would burn up. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I think we need to find this trail. Yeah. I'm gonna bring my coffee with me. I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. <laughs> So Jake went on a little scouting mission, just trying to see where we need to go today. That's the first obstacle. Today and tomorrow or anything like yesterday, we're in for a treat. Sleeping bag, tent stakes, tent, sleeping pad, pillow, sleeping bag liner, which I did not use last night. Stove and pot, fuel, food, all my clothes, puffy, and chair. We're starting day two now for our little venture here in uh, the Gila National Forest. We've got about a mile here following the little creek. Then after that, we're gonna head north on EE. -E. E -E. Yeah, for about three miles. The next mile is gonna be a little bit of elevation, uh, but then after that, once we get onto EE, -E, it'll be all downhill. So it should be a little bit more of a relaxing day than yesterday. We're excited to see what else, what else is out there. It's not a dog for sure. It's too big. Yeah. And there's no uh, no nail at the tips. Maybe mountain lion. Yeah. So we definitely have seen some um, animal prints. Deer, we can tell. The other ones, kind of like might might be a mountain lion. That's a little bit of excitement. Yeah. 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 It's got me. <laughs> on edge a little bit. Yeah. We've hit a lot of ponderosa pines and they're really pretty. And then on the right side of us was a real green flat pasture which you'd expect to you know see some wildlife but it's just you know fairly quiet out here and it's really beautiful it's been a really good first part of the day so far the temperatures are great so it's been it's been good really good
So we took a quick break and had some snacks and oh, just chilled for a little bit. And then we came across this really cool pasture here before we head back north, right, John? Yeah, north. But uh, it's very scenic, kind of out of nowhere. And then little creeks just right past those pine trees. So we got some elevation ahead of us, right? Yeah. About a mile. Yeah, 20 miles. Okay. And then down after that. And it should be a breeze. We're on our last stretch. The terrain has changed quite a bit where it's just, looks like trees that have been hit by fire and then really tall grass and then canyon walls on each side. It's very cool. And it's really nice that we're going downhill. So can't wait to get to our final stop today. Oh man, well, it's been good. I mean, sun's penetrating a little bit. That's how it was yesterday. Same time of the day. If you don't have shade, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult. We gotta, yeah, we gotta be super close to the campsite. <laughs> oh no. Huh. Another one maybe. All right, so another mile. We've uh, kind of hit this real narrow valley with steep cliffs on both sides of us and a sandy, rocky path that we're walking on, which is actually kind of hard to, hard to walk on. But yeah, the terrain has totally changed here in the last quarter mile, half mile, something like that. We're still hiking kind of to find a camping spot here, but this pasture is just really awesome. I, I kind of expect like deer to frolic through here. 
and we have seen lots of deer tracks so we know they're out here but it seems like the perfect place it's just really scenic Moment of truth. You can do it. This is Big Brother action. <laughs> You'll be fine. We uh, scouted the the West Fork here. We were supposed to cross it three times. I went ahead with some trekking poles and crossed the, the first portion, and then the second one, it was scary. I, I never feared for my life so much. You get out there and you feel the water pushing on you, and you're like, oh, should I turn around and go back? But I was afraid to turn around because it might catch more of my body. So I pushed on through the, the second river crossing. And since I made it through that, I went ahead, went up to the third, which was just right around the corner. It's so, so silly that you have to cross over and then back over again. But the third one wasn't as bad. If we can make it to the third crossing by skipping the first and second and staying on this side of the river, we could get out of here um, without backtracking. So Jake just scouted further down up, up a hill here to see if we can get to that third crossing and skipping the first and second. I'll let you know more what we decide. So this is where we decided to camp for night two. It's kind of a burned out area, but we've got some flat spots. We're tired. We've been scouting the river the last few hours, so we just want to get set up and get the night going. and gravy sounds great what so if we, if we survive today can we get bits of some gravy at a at a restaurant we sure can <laughs> i think we deserve it oh this feels good now that sun yeah it's perfect temperature almost so no so would you use right now no but it's too early in the morning <laughs> but seriously last night uh -huh. for about 30 minutes i was because I could have swore I heard a. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I heard some Wait, noise. Wait, you weren't sleeping in it? Because then about 10 minutes later, you started snoring. I was like, oh, it was just John snoring. But yeah, I heard that and I was like, I just stayed still, quiet. Yeah. Uh huh. And then 
that went on for like 20 minutes. No, oh, that's what I heard too. Really? Is that Jake moving on his pad? I felt like I heard something too, but it wasn't like to the point where I couldn't rule out that it was you. Once I heard it the first time, I didn't move an inch, so <laughs> it wasn't me. I was like, oh, I don't really want to deal with the bear right now. <laughs> no. It's been a long day. Yeah. So today's going to be the most difficult day. It wouldn't be if it wasn't for the West Fork River yeah. not being so high and so fast. And you experienced that yesterday. <laughs> And you I did. survived, but you did have a few scary points. <clears throat> yeah. First one wasn't that bad. But then one, once I got to the second one, the water was flowing so fast that I got out there and I was feeling good. And so I tried to push through it. And that's where it felt like as soon as you took a step up, it would just grab your leg and want to, you couldn't get your foot planted quick enough um, to, to stop it from pushing you. Mm. But once I got that far, I just went ahead and, and went through that one and went down to see what the third one was like, which was just right around the bend. And I felt like that one was okay. I think we could do that one with backpacks on. But then coming back out, you know, across the third one again, that was fine. Second one was even scarier coming back. It, re it really, my, both my feet started sliding and my trekking poles were like mm. sliding too. And I, I thought I was, I thought it was gonna sweep me away. But I made it, I did make it through and went on up and then the, the area kind of opens up into a huge meadow area and walking along and all of a sudden I hear the, all these <laughs> noises off to my left and then a bunch of wild boar started running out from some down logs. There had to have been like eight of them. Like the last, the last one was just a little piggy. <laughs> 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 It's an experience only for you to ever remember. I know. You couldn't catch I, didn't, any I didn't have video. my phone on me or anything. You took all your electronics out yeah. to cross those. But our our idea for today is to skip, because you you go over and then you come back over and then you go back over again. If we can skip the first two and stay on this side of the river until we get to the third one, mm -hmm. then I think we can get out of here, ending our route this way. Right. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like it wasn't it wasn't Yoda, but it was <laughs> it was like a a furry creature of some sort. Yeah, I mean, I felt like it was a bear, but elk. I mean, it could be an elk too, like oh, yeah. snoring. Oh, yeah. Now that's very possible because yeah. there is a lot of elk supposedly out here. So, yeah, it could have been that. Yeah, not to say that that's. Still wouldn't charge you if. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. No, yeah. You want to make sure there. He's not in mating season. Yeah. He'll come after you. He'd probably come after me because I'm the prettier one. <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> That's why I opened up your vestibule and let him so he could peek inside. To see. <laughs> Good. So we're just gonna finish up <clears throat> coffee and snacks and whatever. Get packed up and. Go see what's ahead of us here. So we've hit the end of our official trail here and the rest of it's just going to be off trail, some bushwhacking, some unknowns, I'm sure plenty of unknowns. It probably won't be as tough as we think, but um, 
we definitely have to put some thought into this because yeah we're, we're completely off trail now and this is what we're basically going to be hiking through All right, so we've kind of hiked close to as high as we can go because there's no way we can cross over that ridge line. So we're just gonna kind of hug that and hopefully can find a way to come back down to the West Fork. I think it's doable, it's just you can't see through all the trees. How do you like that metaphor? <laughs> so I think we can do it. It's just, you know, again, we're in some unknown territory here. All right, I'm gonna push on. We are within steps away from the cliff dwellings path. And we're just gonna take that on the way out so we won't have to cross any of the West Fork. And then once we take that out, we'll cross a bridge that goes over the West Fork and it will take us basically to pavement that we can take to our car. It's good that we went this direction uh, versus trying to cross the river, especially with our packs. Um, that would have been difficult, but I don't know. We got to see some different scenery too. This is really beautiful right here just to kind of close out our adventure here in the Gila National Forest. dirty my friend. I do like that view. Do you? Do you Wiener. Like Wiener. <laughs> the things we do for our eight subscribers. Oh gosh. <laughs> Pay attention to the road John. is doing nothing for our, our shop here. Smoke, <laughs> we can't even see ourselves. First time I tried to peak refuel one, so. <laughs> okay. I, I, who's peak. talking right now? <laughs> it's a good day though. Yeah, hang on, sorry. It, it was a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good day. Deja vu. Ooh, ooh. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> been good. Really good. Really, really good. Breather break. Oh, I'm chilling on this sweet stump. Were you hoping for an action shot? I uh, No. Me rolly pulling <laughs> down? No, not really. Trail buddy, you're the one. Do, 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 do.